KTO, bit of uh, bit of Chinese music for the Chinese New Year cahoots there, and uh, let me just bring myself in. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. So, time for a uh, a couple of cahoots today, and of course, we are talking about Chinese New Year. It's very soon. We have uh, one more week, or a little bit more, at school, and then we're off for the holidays. So, we're going to be finding out today how much do you know about Chinese New Year. So we have uh, two cahoots today, and we are going to have a, a mega one next Friday as well. So, uh, just to remind you before we start, um, live chat. If you want to uh, post any comments uh, as we're playing the game, uh, you can, of course, go into our uh, P1 to P6 uh, home study uh, Google Classroom. And if you see the comments here uh, under today's post, uh, or we can see people commenting already. So, yes, pop your uh, comments, leave your comments in here. Okay, so this is where you can, oops, you can uh, send a message if you want as we're playing the game. You can tell us how easy or how difficult our cahoots are today. So, what I'm going to do, it's 2.30, it's time to start. I'm going to uh, load up our first cahoot and give you uh, about uh, two minutes to get yourselves signed in. Let me just have a quick check. So we've got, uh, oh, we've got 12 people in at the moment, so uh, we might get a few more students joining us in the next few minutes. So, as we wait for them, let us uh, show you the cahoots today. We're going to be playing these two in the middle here. Uh, we're going to start with the, uh, the big one, 15 questions. New Year quiz, Chinese New Year quiz for kids. So, guys, remember, if you are going to play, you uh, need a... Uh, you can do it with a, another phone or iPad or you can just open a new tab on your computer or wherever and you can go to kahoot.it and uh, you can then just load in the game page there and you can actually move between the pages like this as we play. Okay guys, so let's just uh, load this one up. So, Chinese New Year. Very exciting. I'm sure we're all going to be eating lots of nice food, stuff like that. And the code, guys, is this. I'll just move myself out of the way, as always, so we can see the screen clearly. There we go. 8389096. Ooh. All these fireworks. Exciting stuff. Okay, we'll give you a couple of minutes to get in. And remember, guys, if you just joined, if you want to leave a message, oh, raising, if you want to leave a message, you can go into our, uh, just under the, today's post, all the comments coming in here. Okay, uh, let me go back so you can see the number. Oh, there we go, 8389096. And we've got Ray. M, Ella's in, Ariel's in, Alpha, Cody, Audrey. Wow, look at all those fireworks. Actually, I don't know if uh, this year, I don't know if we will have any uh, fireworks in Hong Kong uh, um, because of the, you know, the COVID problem. Uh, I'm not sure. And in the comments, uh, I can see um, who have we got in. Uh, Mason's commenting. Chow, C, Yuet, from 1C, Cody, Jaden, and uh, quite a few others of you as well. Yep, Ella's in there as well. Okay, guys. Let me just have a quick check. Uh, okay, we've got uh, 15 watching. How many are we going to have playing? Let's have a look. Tony's in. Mason's in, Gabriel's in, so we've got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got 11 players. Okay, we've got uh, 16 watching, so we'll give you another 30 seconds, and then we shall start. Da 
a lot of fireworks, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, I can hear someone shouting out fireworks everywhere. That wasn't me in this video. Okay, guys, I think uh, we should uh, get started. Okay. Oh, Eve's just joined, Fahim's in. Uh, there's someone with uh, four emojis. Okay, let's go. All right, question one. Uh, ooh. What is normally placed in the red envelopes that are given as gifts? So what, what is inside these? Is it money, firecrackers, good fortunes, or pictures of loved ones? Wow, I think that's an easy start, isn't it, that one? Well, everybody answered that pretty quickly, and of course the answer is money. Oh, will you be getting lots of money in your red envelopes this year? Ooh, and what will you buy with that money? You can tell us in the uh, live chat at, uh, over in our Google Classroom. What do you do with your, um, your red envelope money every year? Do you save it? Do you spend it? And looking at the scoreboard, Gabriel, he's top of the tree at the moment with Alpha, Ariel, M and four emojis of the hand there. So I'm not sure who that is. Let us know in our uh, Google Classroom live chat. Right, question two. Uh, what is traditionally used to scare away evil spirits on the new year? So what do people do to get rid of the bad spirits, the demons, the devils, the monsters? Is it loud clapping, which is firecrackers banging pots and pans together, or loud music? was firecrackers oh really I, I i actually thought it was the blue one i thought people were banging pots and pans no it's firecrackers a bit like fireworks okay has this changed things uh oh not at the top gabriel's still there but to ariel up to second and eve and cody are in the top five and oh audrey's moved up four places well done audrey okay let's try the next one Which one of these is not is not bad luck to use on New Year's Day? Is it a broom, a knife, a car, or a fire for cooking? Ooh. I don't know. Do you? In the live chat in our Google Classroom, uh, Jaden saying, "Oh, this one's this question's hard, difficult." I didn't know that. Uh, well, five of you guys did. Well done. I didn't know that. So it's not bad luck to use a car on New Year's Day. Right. What? So that means it is bad luck if you use a broom, a knife, or a fire for cooking. Really? Ooh. Well, did it? Oh, it's cha Ariel's on top. Eve, Audrey's up. Gabriel's down to fourth. Alpha's still in the top five there. Let's try number four. Who celebrates their birthday on the Chinese New Year? Is it the dragon, the tiger, Buddha, or the president of China? Who celebrates their birthday on Chinese New Year? Ooh, I don't know, do you? And 
in our Google Classroom live chat. I can see Gabriel has joined us there. And dang it. Did you get the last one wrong? Well, what about this question, though? Mm, I, I'm not sure on this. Um, oh, I don't know. Is it, would it be blue? Oh, it is. And nobody got it. <gasps> Buddha celebrates his birthday on Chinese New Year. Is that right? Well, we've learnt something new. Because nobody knew that. Well, that's going to be no change then, right? Because nobody got any points on that one. Let's try number five. Okay. What is one tradition the evening before Chinese New Year for a family to do. So tradition just means something you do every year, all the time, for many years. So the evening before Chinese New Year, your family goes to a movie together. Your family ties yellow ribbons in their outdoor trees. Your family cleans their house or your family plant a flowering tree in their front yard or garden. Ooh. Well, here in Hong Kong, most of us, we, we live in flats. We don't have front yards or front gardens. I suppose we do have balconies, some of us. There's the answer though, yes, we clean the house. So the evening before Chinese New Year, that's what everyone does. And, well, no change. Let's try number six. On the first day, the first day of the New Year, many people will abstain. Now, that's a difficult word. Many people will not do something. So, abstain from what? So they will not do something. So they will not have vegetables, liquids, fruits, or meat. On the first day of New Year, what do people not have? I really don't know the answer to this. What about you guys? It's a hard question. in the uh, the Google Classroom live chat we're running. Yes, a lot of you students are posting there saying, yes, this is a very difficult Kahoot. Oh, well, if you're not sure, have a guess. Well, 12 of you uh, got it right. So, so on the first day of the new year, people don't eat meat. That's to help them make sure they have a long life. Okay, so there we go. I've learnt something new there. We don't eat meat on the first day of the new year. And, wow, Ariel from Ron C, still top of the tree. Uh, oh, Ella has uh, moved herself into fourth place. Let's try number seven. Right, the second day of Chinese New Year. Oh, these look difficult. Hang on, let me go through them for you. Second day of Chinese New Year, married daughters visit their parents, or large meals are prepared for the homeless. Got some bad spelling in there. Blue. Uh, all the unused firecrackers must be given to the police. Uh, I don't think that's right, is it? And the green one, the firstborn sons change job spec. Well, the only one I really understand here is, is the red and the, the yellow. I think it's one of those, isn't it? Oh, it was red. So, the married daughters visit their parents. Families get together, of course. Six of you got it. Well, it's a very difficult one for our first one today, but Ariel is still on fire, still top of the tree, but 
Gabriel's moved up, uh, Audrey's up to second, and JC. JC is in the top five, first time today. Will she stay there? Let's see what happens. Right, third day of Chinese New Year. It's bad luck if you go to shopping centres. It's bad luck if you watch TV. It's bad luck to take your pets for walks. What? Or it's bad luck to have guests visit others. Well, I think this year with COVID, I don't think we'll be having many guests, right? Everyone's got to stay home. So, but which usually, which one's bad luck? I don't know. You're having visits from from guests coming coming over. Oh, okay. Well, seven of you got it at half. I didn't know that. I thought it might be red, to be honest. I thought maybe that everyone just says we're not going shopping on the third day, but no. Green was the right. Oh, 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 Audrey has jumped in front of Ariel. The two classmates there from 1C doing ever so well today. And Mason, he was in seventh. He's moved up to fifth. Right, let's try number nine. The fourth day of Chinese New Year's is used for grocery shopping. So that's like just food shopping. Uh, business returns to normal, so everyone goes back to work. The blue one, um, you prepare a party for the weekend. Or schools open again, usually. Not this year. Which one is it? Well, which one is it? I don't know. Do you? There you go. So this means business returns to normal. That means all the shops open and the offices, everyone goes back to work. We kind of have normal, but not back to school. We always have longer holidays, yeah? Okay, seven, got it. Well, most questions, we're getting about half of you are getting the right answers. And, oh, Alpha's jumped up into fourth spot. Let's see what happens after question 10. We're on to the fifth day of Chinese New Year. So the usual breakfast, the traditional breakfast for the fifth day is it dumplings, rice, leftovers. Now guys, that means food you didn't eat the day before or the days before or egg rolls fifth day of Chinese New Year. Dumplings, aha, most of you got that one. Okay, so we know dumplings on the fifth day of the New Year holiday, okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, Ariel's just disappeared from the top five. JC's up to second. Uh, Mason is back into the top five. Eve is steady on third, as is Alpha on fourth, right. 
Right, which saying is not a term for Chinese New Year? Ooh. Oh, let's, ooh, ooh, ooh. What have we got? Spring Festival, Lunar New Year, excuse my very bad Chinese pronunciation here, Chunji, Chunji, and Buddha's birthday. So, so which one is not a phrase, it's not a saying that we use for Chinese New Year? Mmm. Well, I, I know people sometimes call it the Spring Festival, and I know lots of people call it the Lunar New Year. Uh, so I'm guessing it's not blue or green, but which one? People don't don't call Chinese New Year Buddha's birthday, is it? Oh, I don't know, we're out of time. Oh, indeed. So all of these other phrases, Spring Festival, Lunar New Year, Chun Chunji, excuse my pronunciation, um, these are all phrases we use which mean basically Chinese New Year. This does not. Ooh, only six got that one. And Alpha and Mason have moved up. But it's still Audrey, and Audrey's doing so well. Look at that, she's on 7,000 points. Question 12. Right, the seventh day. What is the special reason to celebrate on the seventh day of Chinese New Year? Why do people celebrate the seventh day? What do they do? So, it's the largest fireworks display day. So, uh, lots and lots of fireworks. Um, the New Year's animal is chosen? But I thought we already know every year what, what animal it is, right? Everybody celebrates their birthday and the country runs their election. I don't really... Oh, what? what do you think, guys? Uh, I'm, I'm just the only one that makes sense to me, I think, is red. Is that right? Everybody celebrates their birthday. Is that? Tell me in the in the Google Classroom live chat. Is that true? Is that right? You celebrate. Everybody celebrates their birthday on the seventh day of Chinese New Year. Is that true? I did really did not know that. Okay, let me know if that is true. Nine of you said it was, so I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, oh Ariel's back in top five. Audrey's still top spot. Question 13. What does M mm mean in Chinese? <laughs> uh, it should be easy for you, everyone. chat there uh, Ella was saying yes uh, everyone does celebrate their birthday on the, uh, the seventh day okay but then Cody says no I think oh well, what do you think Cody what do you mean all right there we go oh my goodness uh, only two got this right to survive the year. Is this is this question correct, guys? Is this right? Right, I'm going to find out. Now, guys, you know that I love to use Google Translate. It's a very, very, very helpful thing, and I know lots of you are using it too to help you with your study. What New Year? Yeah, it just means New Year, according to uh, this. 
So guys, I think we have a bad question on our Kahoot here. Uh, I, sh this one really? I don't. I got this uh, Kahoot off the just. I found it in, in you know in the Kahoot. You can find lots of different ones. Uh, I should have checked that more thoroughly. I thought uh, I didn't check the answers on that. This should be should be the blue one, right? Or the green one? Well, does it change things? Mm, not really. Okay, let's try number fourteen. Which is not an activity to do on the Chinese New Year? What do you not do? Okay, uh, okay. Which one of these? <laughs> Play Mahjong. Mahjong, however you pronounce that. Different people say it different ways. Or do you not travel back to your hometown? Do you not text all your relatives on your phone? Or do you not clean your grandparents' home? Which one don't you do? That's a bit tricky, isn't it? Text all your relatives. Well, I mean, six of you went for that, and good for you, but I'm sure some of you do. Nowadays, we all have phones. We're all texting each other. So, I, I don't know, maybe that's not so true anymore. Let me know in our uh, Google Classroom live chat. Do you, uh, you text your family and friends at uh, Chinese New Year if you have a phone? Oh, I bet you do. All right, Ariel and Eve, they've moved back up into the top five, and we're nearly, well, we are almost finished. This is the last one, and it says, what is one thing that the Chinese people will wear during the New Year celebrations? New clothes, red vest with beads, Brown shoes or tassel on top of a hat? New clothes, new clothes, all those, well, people do wear the red vests, but not just vests, right? People wear lots of different types of clothes. Right then, let's find out the podium. Winners. Third place, Mason, congratulations. Second place, Alpha. But the winner, oh, with 12, correct. It must be, it is Audrey. Well done, with Eve and Ella making up the top five. Congratulations to all of you. Wow, what a difficult Kahoot that was to start off with. Well, let's try a second one. Now, this one's only eight questions. It's shorter. Uh, is it going to be easier or more difficult? Let's play and find out. So, guys, give you two minutes to get in and the game pin here it is coming up there you go 
Okay, and oh, I can see a few more students joining in this game. I don't think we're in the last one. Um, Kath, okay, he's got Abigail's in. Ella, Cody, JC. Ariel is back in. Ninja Go is in. Marcus is in. Eve, Katie, Josie, Ella, okay. Ron and Ray, the brothers, are going to work together on this one. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you, we've got 13 in, I'm gonna give you uh, another 20 seconds. Get yourselves in and then we shall start. Okay, Bethany's just joined. Okay guys, we'll start in a second. Just remember, if, you, if you're joining late, you'll see the game pinned down at the bottom, bottom right of your screen. So you can join any time later. Okay, let's play. Chinese New Year, part two. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me help you with this one. Now, according to the legend, the story of Chinese New Year. What was the name of the monster? So legend is just like a very, very old story. According to the legend. So it just means in the story of Chinese New Year, what was the name of the monster? Was it red, nian, moon or fire? Well, this is an easy one to start with, isn't it? Surely. Two of you said red. The name of the monster is red? I'm afraid not. It's Nian. Maybe I can't say that very well, but uh, 15 of you got it right. And quickest was Gabriel from 5B. But Ella, JC, Ron and Ray and Ninja. Let us know in our Google Classroom live chat. Who are you, Ninja? You're in fifth place. Doing well. Okay. Question two, how many days does Chinese New Year last? How long is it? Two, 12, 15, 25? Oh, most of you got that, yes. 15 days of Chinese New Year. No change at the very top, but Ninja has moved up and Alpha too. Question three. What were the three things the monster Nian was afraid of, scared of? So, fire, loud noises, and the colour black. Water, loud noises, and the colour red. Fire, loud noises, and the colour red. 
or fire crackers and the color black. Ooh. It's blue. Scared of fire, loud noises, and red colour. Which is why, of course, Chinese New Year, you have lots of fire and fireworks and firecrackers, lots of loud noises, and the colour red everywhere. Right, everybody got it right. Well done. But who was fastest? Oh, Ninja, who are you? Let us know. You are top of the tree at the moment. Let's try the next one. So, which was the first zodiac animal to cross the river? Now, this is in the uh, Chinese New Year story, of course, with, the, with all the different animals. But do you know which one was the first to cross the river? Ox, tiger, rabbit, or rat? I know this answer, so I think you should too. Yes, it is of course the rat in the story, first across the river. Did it change anything? Oh, Ron and Ray have moved up into third. Ninja, still top. It's very close, actually. Look at the scores. 3,500, 400, 400, 400. Oof, it's going to be a very close one. Question five. Uh, when do Chinese people usually have their reunion dinner? That reunion dinner is just when all the family... The grandparents, mum and dad, the kids, maybe the uncles, the aunts, the whole big family get together. When is that dinner? Chinese New Year Eve? First day of Chinese New Year? Second day? Or the last day? Oh, well, uh, half of you got it, more or less. Uh, Chinese New Year Eve, so that's the evening before. Uh, that is when you have your big family gathering. Well, so some of you have learnt something new there. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ron and Ray up into top spot. Gabriel's still holding at second, but Alpha, Abigail and JC have jumped up into the top five. And we can see Abigail has the highest answer streak. The last five questions she has got correct. Well, can she keep up that form? Question six. Uh, what does long noodles symbolise? So, these are very famous, aren't they? These long noodles. Uh, what do they represent? What do they mean? What do they... We think of the long noodles, we think of uh, gold. Uh, wealth, which means having lots of money, really. Uh, a long life or happiness. What do these long noodles really mean to us? Long life. Long noodles, long life. Yes, almost everybody got that one. Okay, so 
Any change? Uh, no change at all. Everybody got it right in our top five. Okay, question seven. Red packets. Now, we call them red packets, red envelopes. They're given to children and who else gets a red packet? Teenagers, old people, married adults or unmarried adults? It's unmarried adults. So it's adults who did not get married, not yet. So um, oh, uh, children and unmarried adults get red packets. No one else does. So you need to just, uh, well, just, you need to just pretend that you are a child forever and you will always get money at Chinese New Year. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Wow. Alpha is now top of the tree with Abigail, Ninja, and then Ron and Ray and Gabriel. Let's have a look at the last question. So, during Chinese New Year, the colour red symbolises, just means it means, what does it mean? We think of red. We think of luck, danger, money, or prosperity. Now, prosperity, guys, difficult word here. Prosperity just means you are doing well, everything's good, you have money, you have success, everything's great in your life. It is luck. Yes, indeed. The colour red, it's lucky, apparently. So, were you lucky or were you clever? Did you know the answers or not? Let's have a look at our podium. Ooh, Ronald Ray, well done. Seven correct out of eight. Ooh, Abigail, all correct. But top spot, all correct, it's Alpha. And Gabriel and Audrey in fourth and fifth place. Okay, well done, guys. Now then, we play two. We were gonna we're gonna play a mega one next week. Um, so we're we're finishing off for today, but before we go, um, I just want to show you, oh, we've got all our messages in here, yeah. Um, and all your messages down there that we've been looking at. And, oh, there's loads there. Now, guys, if you want to play another Kahoot, and if you like Roblox, um, one of our students uh, yesterday, or was it a couple of days ago, uh, Matt from 3B, he posted a link to a Roblox game. Now, I have set it here. I'm gonna move this post now to the top of our P1 to P6 uh, Google Classroom. And guys, so if you wanna play another Kahoot at home now, or over the next few days, because this is open until uh, Sunday, late Sunday night, uh, if you just go into the comment underneath and if you click on this link, you'll find it as a challenge. So you can play it any time. And remember, you don't need a game pin. You don't need anything. So you just, uh, if you, so that's not me, you just type in your name. So for example, um, Ron, Ron and Ray. Sorry, Ray, give you a capital letter there, and then you just 
press OK Go, and you can play the game. So you can see Matt's Kahoot here, which he got off um, the Kahoot search, I think. All about Roblox, and I know that many of you are very, very, very big fans of Roblox. So if you want to play that game, it's open for two days and seven hours, which means uh, 11 o'clock on Sunday night, it will close. So guys, if you want to play that over the weekend, test your Roblox knowledge, you can. And of course, guys, if you do um, make any of your own cahoots and you would like us to play them or share them with you, uh, just make an announcement in our P1 to P6 Google Classroom and just add the link and you can send it to us. So uh, you can share all your fun cahoots with everybody else. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, and if you want to do that, uh, just send me a message. You can just send me a message in here. You say, how do I make a cahoot? And I will send you all the links and information, how to make it, how to make a kahoot account, how to make a challenge, how to share it with us, so I can send all that information to you. All right, guys, uh, we are going to finish there for today. And just to finish off, uh, remember, so next week, next Friday, we have our last Kahoot for the weekend before the Chinese New Year holiday. Uh, but also, next week, I will be telling you about a Chinese New Year competition. I'm setting a competition. I will talk to all of you for P1 to P4 students. I will tell you next week in your Zoom lessons. Uh, but for the P5 and P6, next week I will be posting and I will be going into your P5, P6, Google Classrooms, posting the information there. So this will be a competition for anyone in our school, all the students, P1 through to P6. So that should be a lot of fun. I'll tell you all about that next week. All right, guys, we're going to finish there for today. So hope you have enjoyed our first couple of Chinese New Year cahoots. And we shall see you, well, I'll see you in your lessons next week. And if you're in P5, P6, uh, I'll see you on here next Friday. Okay guys, enjoy the weekend and enjoy the sunshine if you can. It's very, very nice and sunny recently. Alright guys, have fun. Bye bye.